All right, good morning, everyone. It's Monday morning of week nine, and here we are in the Italian Renaissance. This is going to be a huge week. This is one of the most important weeks. It ranks right up there or above ancient Greek, ancient Roman, as setting up the type of artwork that we have around us today. There's a couple things I want to point out to you before talking about the assignments. I've changed up the video lectures for the week and from here on out for the rest of the semester. The supplemental videos that we've had down at the bottom that um, some of you have been watching, I've brought some of those each week up into the top of the page here to be our video lectures. There's no more than 20 minutes per week. These are the videos created mostly by Smart History. They have a really good depth to them. They have great production value. You will see a few of my videos that I've created in the past from my uh, video lectures on some of the chapters, but those will be going away here very quickly. And I do hope that you look at these video lectures. These will explain some of the greatest pieces of artwork that I believe you need to know within your visual literacy of being in our culture. They're not huge, long videos, but they do have very good depth. A couple things to look for in your readings and in the videos are some, some names that don't come up a whole lot, and that's Medici, M-E-D-I-C-I. -I. Uh, some people would say Medici, but it's Medici, very sedate. They are one of the three or four great families that really controlled Florence. They were wealthy, they had great influence, and eventually the Medici actually became sort of the rulers over Florence. That's Michelangelo, as a young boy, comes in from the country where he's been in a family led by a stone cutter. So he knows about marble, he's been using marble. He gets the attention of the Medici court. He's brought in as a late teenager and is allowed to experience the, um, we'll say humanism, but it's more in a Christian humanism sort of way. And he's allowed to be around poets and artists and thinkers and philosophers and people of wealth and influence. And he is also surrounded by great art from Greek times, from Roman times, so he has this perfect environment to make him one of the great artists of all time. It, his artwork was really cultivated by the Medici to become something great. In the videos here, I've included the Sistine Chapel ceiling and also in the Sistine Chapel, The Last Judgment. The Last Judgment really is probably in my top three greatest pieces of artwork. Not as much the Sistine Chapel, although it's right up there in my top 10. But here, that is the one that is, it just grabs me every time that I see it. I even have it on my phone background. <clears throat> For this week's discussion, we'll be looking at the Renaissance, chapters 21 and 22 exclusively. And we'll be exercising your aesthetic abilities again, looking at meaningful, and inspiring pieces of artwork. And then analysis three, which will also be focusing on chapters 21 and 22. And then we have the quiz. And now that we're past the midterm exam, now we're onto the second half of the class and we'll be going headlong towards our museum presentation. If you can, I highly suggest that you are working with your slideshow application, whether it be PowerPoint or Keynote or the Google variant or whatever it is. Also that you've picked out and you're using the software to capture your screen. Here I'm using Screencast-O-Matic and then you need to make sure that you're able to get video of yourself giving their narration in a window, just like what I'm doing here. That's going to be very, very important. 
Some of you um, haven't been to the museum yet, and that's perfectly fine. There's lots of time left, but don't get behind. That's the biggest thing. Okay, I think that's a good overview of this week, and look for a little bit more information on each one of the assignments. All right, thanks. Have a blessed week. Again, if you need any help with anything, let me know.